Sydney's history runs deep into its sandstone foundations. Hidden in some of the city's bushland lie the marks of an ancient culture. There's a whole array of rock engraving and rock art throughout this very area. Also one of the earliest recorded Aboriginal sites in terms of Aboriginal art. The Garigal National Park, on Sydney's northern beaches, is home to these sandstone engravings, thousands of years old. A snapshot of the Eora peoples imprinted on the earth. But just next to these sites is Wakehurst Parkway. It's about to be widened as part of the Beaches Link Toll Road. Leaked cabinet blueprints reveal several heritage sites could be under threat from the project. These include indigenous middens, rock engravings and even burial sites. The document warns any damage will be difficult to justify, but says stakeholders should be assured any impacts are unavoidable. The Roads Authority says it's developing new plans which would avoid the carvings. The alignment doesn't connect uh, with the carvings and, uh, and uh, we'll have, as we do on all of our projects, strict controls in place. But Nathan Moran isn't convinced. We're within metres of Wakehurst Parkway. If there was any expansion of the parkway to be widened or more width put into it, it's going to have an, a terrible and atrocious effect on the oldest living human culture on earth. And he claims the local land council wasn't consulted. Yes. So uh, um, I, I can't speculate on why that is. What I can say is we've consulted with the Metropolitan Aboriginal Land Councils and, uh, and, array, and all of the other um, relevant stakeholder groups. If we need to do more, we're very happy to do more. It's not just this area's rock art under threat. This bushland is also home to vulnerable plant and animal species. The documents show habitat for animals like pygmy possums will be removed. Scientists say wildlife is already being lost to car strikes and land clearing. If you destroy the bushland for the road corridor, then you actually destroy quite a few animals' habitats. Locals say they weren't told about the destruction of habitat. It's outrageous. I cannot believe the state government has again made such detailed plans without talking to the community and without letting us know in advance. Labor wants the project stopped. When is Aboriginal heritage actually going to be protected properly by this government? You can't simply draw a line on a map and say, well, it doesn't matter. The state government says road construction will begin in 2020, provided it wins the March election. Cameron Gooley, ABC News, Sydney.